Welcome to another Max QDA video tutorial. This time we're working with qualitative and standardized survey data. In other words, the answers to open-ended or closed-ended questions. In Max QDA, document variables are quite important when it comes to analyzing survey data. So, if you haven't already seen the video on that topic, it would be a good idea to watch it before continuing with this video. In most research projects, survey results usually end up in an Excel table, regardless of whether you filled this table manually or exported it from an online survey tool. So, the survey import function in MaxQDA is basically an Excel file import function. For purely quantitative surveys, you can also import SPSS files and if you have a SurveyMonkey account with all the appropriate rights, you can import your data directly from SurveyMonkey. So let's start by looking at how to import an Excel file. If you have an Excel file with your survey data, the first column will usually contain the number or ID of your respondents, while the individual questions will be listed in the headers of the remaining columns. Below these, you'll see each respective response. If your data is already in this format, you don't have to do anything else. You can now import the formatted Excel file directly into MaxQDA. The responses can be added to the document as a text and automatically coded with the respective question, which usually works well for open-ended questions and lets you do further qualitative evaluations of the responses. The responses can also be imported as document variables, for instance, if they're about a person's age or place of residence. This data can then be used for grouping or filtering or for other mixed methods functions. I'm now going to specify that every open-ended question is to be added to the document and coded, and that the standardized questions by age, gender, and nationality are to be saved as variable values. For each of these variables, you have to determine the type. And for this, MaxQDA will make automatic suggestions based on the values themselves. And these suggestions are usually correct. The individual cases can now be seen as a single document in the document system. The names are taken from the first column of the Excel table. When I open a document, I see the answers to the open-ended questions as texts coded with the question itself. And in the code system, a new code has been created for each question with open-ended responses. The standardized responses have been identified as variables and can be viewed and edited in the data editor. You now have a number of evaluation options at your disposal, some of which we'll take a closer look at now. The Categorize Survey Responses function is particularly useful for larger data sets with lots of responses. Here you can get a quick overview of all responses to a question in a concise table view. You can separate out the top-level codes of questions into subcodes. And you can assign text segments directly to codes via drag and drop. You can also add comments to individual segments here. You can also use quantitative responses, that is, the variable values of your documents, to display responses in groups. The interactive quote matrix, which you'll find in the Mixed Methods tab of MaxQDA, is the ideal tool for this. Here you can assemble several groups based on your variable values and create a table with columns for each of these groups. In the columns you'll find the codes from the documents with the corresponding value. On the left you can interactively click through the code system and quickly check your data for similarities or differences. If this function appeals to you in principle, but you're not interested in the text passages themselves, only their frequencies, then use the crosstab function. Here you'll also find a number of options to customize the results according to your interests. And like all the windows you've seen in this tutorial, this one also allows you to export your data quickly and easily. 
And those were just some of the initial analytical steps you can take after importing a survey into MaxQDA. If you're interested in further mixed methods functions, such as the typology table or the similarity analysis, you'll find a short description in their respective tooltip. And by clicking on one of these question marks here, you'll find a detailed explanation in our online manual. See you next time, and until then, we wish you all the very best with your MaxQDA projects.